All right. Everybody, hope you guys are doing well at home. Hope you guys are uh, you know, staying safe, staying inside, staying uh, alive and not too bored during this quarantine. But what we got going on today is we got a little bit of bo uh, bodyweight stuff. So it should be, uh, hopefully some of you guys can all hit it at home. You know, if uh, you guys are at camp, if you guys are, uh, you know, out and about or something like that, and you guys just got, you know, hopefully uh, uh, not, no, or maybe minimal equipment or no equipment, but you guys want to still get a proper lift in here. I'm battling my camera. So uh, today I got a nice one. Everything's going to be for time. So yeah, there is a little bit of jumping where we dance around quite a bit. So go pee real quick. Hit pause, go pee real quick. If you guys haven't already, get a sip of water. Let's get rocking and rolling. So what's going to happen this morning? We got three exercises to start this off, okay? So our exercises are gonna go as following. Okay, we got two rounds through this, everything's for a minute. So really easy to remember. So we got some basic jumping jacks. So of course, jump it out, jump right back in. Check above you, make sure you're not gonna punch a light or a ceiling fan or anything like that. Make sure you got the space for this. So we got jumping jacks. After that, real little high knee action, okay? So basic high knee. So of course, our jumping jack, like I said, right? Little high knee actions, just opposite hand, opposite knee. Okay, I don't throw those in very often, but it'd be a good opportunity for us to get uh, something a little different in. Then we're gonna take it down to the floor. We're gonna go into super vents. Okay, so we're flying our stomachs, elevating arms and elevating heels off the ground, right? So make sure you got some space, right? Lifting up, tiny hold and right back down. Okay, now I'm gonna hit it for reps, but a one second hold the top. But another option, should you guys wish, is you can hit it kind of like a plank style. Just go up, hold for uh, that full minute if you got it. And always just get a nice burn going through the lower back, through your shoulders. Let's get loose, let's get awake. All right, team, so let me get my clock set here. Okay, going in three, two, one, and let's get our jumping jacks going. Okay. So I says my arms are popping out, my feet are popping out. Sorry if my camera shakes a little bit here, team. Try to get in a little bit of padding, so hopefully it won't be danced around too much. Oh, what a way to wake up, what a way to get moving. I'm not sure what time you're watching this or where you're watching from, but man, I woke up to snow this morning. It's pretty depressing. The sun's out, but man, it's pretty crisp. Good job, guys, already halfway. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Like I said, as always, if you need a modification, you always step, right? If that's a little bit too much impact on your joints, adjust it as you have to. As with every one of these workouts, scale it. If it's too easy, go back in another round. Go back in it again. If it's too hard, ease up. I can give you guys variations, okay? 12 seconds left. Get our heart rate up here a little bit. Get us, uh, some blood pumping. In five, four, three, two, one. And we're just gonna transition high knee. So opposite hand, opposite knee. Now, if you wanna just drive the arms, get that going. If you wanna obviously keep the hands in front for a landmark, no wrong answer. All right, so just stay moving on our toes. Knees are coming to the chest. Get a little arm pump going, that might help out too. Like I said, like you're pumping like a sprinter, right? Get really explosive. Adjust it, stay on the toes. If it's getting to be a little bit too much of your shins or your ankles, nothing wrong, just drop high knee, right? Keep yourself moving. Give yourself the opportunity to engage your abs as you hit it. We got 30 seconds to go on this guy. Of course, we're gonna take it down on the ground. We got 30 seconds of Superman's. We'll get, or a minute of Superman, excuse me. We'll get that going right afterwards. Good, 20 seconds left. I'm trying to get my heart rate up a little bit here. Woo. Hopefully we get going today. Like I said, I got some, a little bit different stuff playing today. Try to break off my normal. Five seconds. Two, one, clock still running. Let's take it down to the mat. Flat our stomachs, like I was saying, elevating up, tiny hold. If you want to hold the whole way, just stay static and keep that constant tension. Nothing wrong with that. Good job, guys. Up squeeze and right back down. 20 seconds in. Stay strong with those abs. If it's a little too much pressure, don't be shy. Make sure you're doing it on like a mat, carpet, put a pillow on your stomach. 25 seconds to go. seconds. As soon as we're done, we're not resting, we're going back up, going right back to those jumping jacks. Like I said, we have two quick rounds, get us away. In five, four, three, two, one, and let's take it back up. Good. And into our jumping jacks. Clocks are running. We got a backup timer in case I need it later. Good job, guys. Oh. 
Soft to the toes. Stay moving. Like I said, you need variation. It's a little too much. Kind of keep it rock and roll. If you need to step, do your thing. Nothing wrong with that. For those of you guys who do have weights at home, and you got some light dumbbells and stuff, of course, you always throw a set of threes or a set of fives. Hit these almost into a lateral as you do it. I get pretty crazy. Get pretty crazy burn. I have dumbbells in as you need to. A medicine ball, we got, like I said, a lot of body weight stuff. But if you got the added resistance, use it. Don't be shy. Make it just a little bit tougher. 10 seconds left. Bring it home. Of course, in five seconds, we're on those high knees. Two, one, and good. Wrap on those knees, right? Other hands in front, just drive them up. Soften your toes. We want to be jarring. Nothing's jarring, nothing's slamming hard. It's a soft landing, you're cushioning it, pop right back up. I'm doing spare feet. Eh, throw shoes on, you might get a little more padding. Well, you would get a little more padding, so of course, if you gotta do that, that's another quick uh, variation that you're adding. Good job, guys. We got 35 seconds to go. Okay, so we got two rounds. Finish this round off. Get right into the real work of the day. All right, guys. All right, almost done. 20, 20 seconds. Push your reps. Push your reps out. 14. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and good. We're taking it down. Superman. Great job, guys. Seconds. Twenty seconds. Here we go. Bring it home. And we got some rest. There you go. Come on. Ten. Lower back should be burning now. Two. One. And time. Great job, guys. Do a warm-up block. Grab yourself a sip of water, catch your breath. Get ourselves organized here. Nice little uh, way to start the day off. I'll tell you, every time I take it down to the mat, I seem to find more dust bunnies. I don't know what the heck. I vacuumed this morning, still find more dust bunnies. I have some new spots I gotta hit maybe after this. Man, we have no pets or anything. It's no excuse. All right, guys. So. Next little block we got. We're going three rounds through. As always, you got the time, pause it, hit a fourth round, go back, hit it again afterwards if you, if you got the time, okay? So we got three rounds. Again, we're still going for time. We still got a minute per exercise here, okay? So my first exercise we're gonna hit is gonna be a wall squat, okay? So grab a wall that you've got that's sturdy, okay? Grab something you can sit against. Obviously our, our goal is gonna stay 90 degrees, bottom head, shoulders are sitting back, okay? Now feet both short apart, okay? Now guys, if you don't have a, you can always just sit down, just hold a traditional body weight squat. There's also nothing wrong with that. Okay, so we hit our wall squat to start off. As soon as we've got our one minute wall squat, and again, if you got to rest, come up, catch breath, shake them out, curse a little bit, sit back down, attack a little bit more time, uh, and try to get your, that cumulative full minute. Okay, after that, we're gonna go into skaters, skate strides, I've heard them call lots of things. So, small squat down, I'm hitting side to side, right? So again, soft landings, my back, or my, uh, my lead leg's gonna sweep in behind, I'm gonna pop out, sweep behind, and pop out, I get my arms driving, so I get a little bit harder of explosives coming across. Okay, push for as much distance as you feel comfortable. Just make sure you can cushion your landing. After our skaters, we're gonna go push up into a twist. So, I'm gonna hit my push up. I'm gonna keep my feet pretty close together. I'm actually stack my feet up. If that's a little too hard, keep them a little bit wider. It's easier to turn, you'll have a little more stability. Okay, I'm just gonna try to be a little bit harder on myself. So, I'm gonna hit my push up, and as I come up, I'm gonna rotate, I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna drop down, my push up position, hit it, open up to the opposite side, okay? And that's how we're gonna go. Now, if you need to, a minute's a long time. Break, take rest, drop the knees, go to a modified push-up, scale it so it's right for you. There's nothing wrong with that. But I challenge you, even first round, try your first couple off your toes, right? Hit true push-up and scale it back as you start to fatigue. Last one, we're gonna go flat on our backs. We're going one legged glute bridge, okay? For our glute bridges, we're gonna go 30 seconds per leg. I still wanna keep that same minute, so I'll call it out. Whichever leg you wanna start with, we're flat on our backs, plant the heel, leg goes up, 
Pop up squeeze. At 30, I'll call it, we switch, and then right back into it. All right, team? So when you guys are ready, let's find a wall someplace. You guys can come with me. Let's hunt down a wall. All right. I don't got a lot of space here to work with, but let's see what we can do. Going in three, two, one, and let's hit it. All right, legs are at 90. Get comfy, you're gonna be here a while. Oh, you wanna go prisoner style, you can throw the hands up top. If you're a little crazy, had some dumbbells. Work yourself into a curl, where right? you wanna be real tough. Lots of creativity here, if that's too easy. Take the center, go one-legged. I feel like as you get into these rounds though, my legs are already toasted, man. So this is gonna be, uh, this is already be tough enough as it is. But like I said, scaled so it's right for you. Good job, guys. Woo. If you guys do have your hands in your legs, okay, I usually I try to tell my clients not to, but if you do, just make sure you're not pushing. Don't try to take that weight off your chest or your shoulders. They can just be chilling, right? So hands across chest, head, whatever you want. 20 seconds left, guys. Stick with it. Stay in there. Stay in there. Grind it out. Good. 12 seconds left. Remember, as soon as we finish this round off, we're gonna take it over there, we're gonna get it back, get your skate strides going. I might even have space here. Let's see. I should have cleaned this out a little better. And good. Top up, take it to our skate strides. Clock's still running, so so should we be. Right? So get yourself ready and hit side to side. Right? You're low, you're explosive. You're low, you're explosive. Right? If you want to push for a little more speed, you can stay narrower. Try to hit that. Good. Push it, stick it, push it, stick it. Good, guys. We're 20 seconds in. Don't forget the clock doesn't stop when we switch. So you guys gotta stay boogieing. You guys do the best you can. Stay moving here. Again, you wanna make it tough. Could be holding dumbbells or kettlebells right now. Try to hold down in front of another goblet style or dumbbells. Hold them out. Keep your shoulders burning at the same time. Try to hold them off your body. Kind of good. We got farmer's walks are right here. Good, guys. Very good. 15 seconds to go. Of course, we're going to hit the mat. Push up into that twist. Good job, guys. Good job. 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and let's go. Let's assume that push-up position. Okay, feet stacked, hit it. Turn out, open up, give me a little wave. Push up, twist, open up. Good. Good job, guys. Exhale as you come up in that push-up. Hard exhale, open up. Great job, team. That's 26 seconds in. Don't freak out, especially as you start counting it down. Something psychological, you'll stay moving. You got this. 20 seconds left, 20 seconds. Then we're gonna take it down flat on our backs. A little bit of recovery time for you guys in that group bridge. Great job. Six, five. Try to get one more rep in. And good. Let's take it down to our glute bridge. Start flat in the back. Plant one heel. Drive right up, squeeze. I like to keep that foot that's planted. I keep my toe up. That hits my hamstring a little bit better. Okay? Shouldn't be feeling this too much in your calf. Okay, make sure you drive your heel straight down. The more you walk your foot out, the more you're going to feel it through your hamstring. The closer your foot is to your bum, the more you're going to feel it through your glute. So adjust it as you have to. Whatever you're trying to hit here. Or don't be shy. Mix it up a little bit as you go through our rounds. And let's switch those legs up. Clock stays running. Good job, team. Twenty seconds left. As soon as we're done this, we're jumping up. Really quick sip if you need it. Have your sip against the walls or in that wall squat. Like I said, clock doesn't stop once we start. Eight seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's boogie. We got a little glute to our uh, wall squat. Let's hit it. Clock's still running. All right. Hope your feet aren't too sweaty. If they are, you might start to slide. Make sure your feet are at that 90 degree angle. Push straight down through your feet and we'll have that same slide. Good job, guys. Oh, just zone it out. Go someplace else. Think of that beach that you'd rather be sitting on right now. 
We got 20 seconds left here, guys. 20 seconds left. You got her. You got her. 11, 10, 6 seconds. We're hopping up. One more skaters. 3, 2, 1. It's go time. Let's go. Skate strides. We're in it. We're in it. Like I said, if you want to push up a little more pace, don't be shy. Right? If you want, you can almost hit like a full squat every time. Jump out, get a little mini single legged squat. Right? Just make sure your bum's sitting back as you do it. That'd really cook your legs, depending on what you got or what you're looking for today. Like I said, scale it. Make it so it's tough for you. You need to back it off. Just step. There's nothing wrong with that. Right? Just do your best. Stay moving. Good job, guys. This is already round two. We got three rounds to go. Nice chunk of rest. You got it. 25 seconds left. Good. Very good here, guys. 13. 5, 4, 3, 2, and we're taking it down. Push up, twist. Let's go. Stack the feet up. Hit it. Open it up. The more you open up your hips, the more challenging it's going to be. Great job, guys. Great job. One rep at a time. Good job, guys. Over halfway. Come on, come on. Let's get this thing done. 15. 10 seconds, we're going to fly on our back. Two, one, and good. Flip on over. Get yourself planted. Let's get that glute bridge going. 30 seconds. Always a quick transition. Guys. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and good. Another leg, we're going for it. Good job, guys. Very good job, today. Nine, eight, four, three, two, one, up. We're back to our wall squat last time through, guys. Like I said, grab your sip on route if you need it. Clock hasn't stopped though. We're going for it, going for it. You got it? Come on. Assume that position. Last round through. Last round with the comments of rest. Very nice. Good work, team. There's half way. 30 seconds to go. You guys got it. Okay, live there. Live there. Just zone it out. 20. 15. 10. 9. Going to our skaters in seven, six, four, three, two, one, and let's go. That's the last time we're gonna see that, guys. Let's go, we're into the skaters. Come on now, come on now. Let's get it rocking. Like I said, get a little bit of a pistol if you want. The lower you catch it, the higher you go, or the more you go, obviously the more challenging it's gonna be. Good job, guys. Like I said, if you're feeling good, don't be shy, you can push your pace a little quicker. 40 seconds left. We're going to that push up one more time. Great job, team. Almost there. Almost there. Good 
Good job, guys. 12. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and take it down. Push ups. Let's go. Push up twist. Last time you're going to see it. Switch those legs up. Here we go. Good job, guys. Good job. 15 seconds left. Six. Two. One. And time. Guys, great job. Good block. Very good block. We got one more big block like that. Good job, team. Very good job. Catch your breath, grab some water, take a little recovery. It was a monster. Hope you guys worked up a bit of a sweat, got a bit of a glaze on. All right. So, as we're kind of recovering, I'll start to explain our next round, what we got going on. So same sort of concept. We're still going for that one minute per, uh, per exercise, three rounds through. All right, guys. So our first exercise, we're gonna take it down flat on our stomachs again. We're gonna do what I call a, uh, a reverse fly. So a prone reverse fly. So our chest is down the ground. We're elevating up, squeeze and right back down. Up, squeeze and right back down. So we're trying to hit our posterior delt, a little bit of our upper back here, okay, guys? But most of the backside of our shoulder. So I'm flat on my stomach, okay? Now I'm not gonna bring my legs up. Some people may want to. I'm here, elevate up, hold, and right back down, up. Hold for a second and right back down. Now the one thing, make sure you're not feeling up in your traps, okay? Reset your head, reset your neck. Make sure you're not feeling up in your neck, not up in your traps. We're looking for the back side of your shoulder here. It's going to be posterior delt, okay? Back and squeeze. Might get a little bit throughout the lower trap, that's normal, but predominantly our shoulders, okay? Next up, just spin around, we're going to our side plank. Okay, so for our side plank, so feet are getting stacked up. So my top leg, over top, elbow just, just inside and below my shoulder, and when I lift, I'm pulling my hips forwards, and to make it a little bit harder, pull that elbow in. Okay, we're not trying to move it. We're just trying to pull that elbow, tuck that elbow into the ground. It's gonna really get your lat to fire, and of course that oblique's really gonna jump to life. At 30, we do a little flip, three stack, and go. Okay, and we're in the fly. All right guys, so reverse fly, side plank, side plank. After that, if you got a bench, if you got some, we're gonna hit a dip. If you don't have it, you can also do a close grip push up off the floor. Okay, so hands are staying uh, relatively uh, shoulder width apart, right? Elbows are, are the key. Elbows gotta stay tucked in tight to the body. If we're doing our bench dip, couch, chair, whatever you got, make sure your shoulders aren't sitting forwards like this. I never wanna see that. Shoulders are always pulled back. A minute's a long go, so take them calm and cool. So, if I walk out, I'm gonna stay at 90. You could also go straight legged or even kick your feet up on something. So my shoulders set back first. Slow control down, fire straight back up. Slow control down, fire straight back up. And my goal, I'm really trying to get that tricep. Well, boom, I want that tricep to really fire. Okay, then our last, our final one, door frame row. Okay, so this, I messed around a little bit, it actually does work. So you're gonna go one hand on this door. Okay, so just grab a door frame if you got one. Okay, we're gonna scoot on over. Half a squat position, and I'm pulling my body forwards. Lay right back into it. 
big pull forwards. And as I do that, I'm trying to squeeze my shoulder back. Think like a one arm row, right? So draw back and squeeze. Same thing on my opposite side. Half a squat down, pull right in. I'll probably actually use this side. All right, team? So we're gonna have to dance, we're gonna have to move around a little bit, but it will work, all right? So same thing for that one, 30 seconds, I'll call it. We'll switch it up. So when you guys are ready, our first exercise, we're flattening our tummies. We're taking it down on, onto our stomachs. That's gonna start it up into those uh, uh, prone flies. All right, guys? So clock set, hopefully you're set at home. Going in three, two, one, and let's go. Pop it up, squeeze it, right back down. Pop it up, squeeze it, right back down. I elevate my chest off the ground just a little bit so I get a little more range. Good. This will be a burner. It's going to be a sneaky burn. Come guys. Up, squeeze, hold, right back down. Neutral head. We should be looking down towards the ground. You're not looking up. Good job. That's halfway. Should be starting to really feel that burn. Up, hold for a second. Take her back down. If you want to hold longer, go the whole minute or 30 seconds. Go for it. Good job, guys. 20. In 14 seconds, all we have to do, we're gonna spin over, stack our feet, get that side plank. Seven. Three, two, one, and let's go. So I'm stacking up. So I'm on my left elbow, so my right foot's over top of my left. I'm gonna pull that, that elbow towards my heel. Try to really pull her in, get that oblique to foot, or pardon me, my oblique, my lat should be really burning here. This will be quick, guys. 30 seconds per arm. Constantly push those hips forward. Lift up, push hips forward. Right? Eight seconds left, we switch the sides. If you guys are good, just flip right over in three, two, one, and go for it. I'm gonna spin so you can still see me. So I'm on my right elbow, so my left foot's on the top, pop the hips up forwards, elbows pulling in. Good job, guys. 15 seconds left. Should be burning here. Should be looking her. Should be feeling her. 10. If you're not, pull harder. If you're really engaged. Five. Three. Two. One. And good. Bench dips or close grip push up, whatever you got. As soon as you're set, break them up if you have to. Fire them off. Shoulders staying tucked back, down, drive right back up. Good. Down, drive, back up. I mean, it's a long time. I'm going to probably stay 90 degrees. Maybe second round or third round, I'll get a little more creative and try to push it a little bit harder. But this will burn. Great job, guys. Great job. 30. Woo! Almost missed my hand there. That's the only bad part of pushing off a couch or something. It's tons of cushion. You don't have this a hard surface, you lose a little strength pushing off it. Do what you can, guys. Do what you can, though. Make sure your chest isn't taking over. You should be feeling a little bit your chest. Triceps, maybe a bit your quads. Got a lot of triceps here. 10. Five seconds over that door frame. Whew. And good. Let's take it there. Get there quick as soon as you can. I might extend out this round just a little bit. Let's make sure we actually get a little bit of time in here. So tiny squat, leaning back into it. Pull that body and squeeze. And squeeze. Good job, guys. It may look ridiculous, but I promise it will work. Five seconds. If you have a dumbbell, of course, you go into one arm row. Okay, opposite side, let's hit it. Small squat down, pull that body in. Job team. Ten seconds, we're taking it back down to the mat. Four, three, two, one, and when you're ready, let's go. I'm just gonna stay right here, actually. So apply your stomachs, pop those arms right up. Prone reverse fly. Stay after it. Up, squeeze, hold, down. Up, squeeze, hold, and down. Good job, guys. Half 
Apoi! Like I said, you start feeling through your neck, look down, relax your shoulders, reset them. Four, three, two, one, and let's get that side plank. Drop it up, hold it. Great job, guys. Remember, we're constantly pulling that elbow in. Pull that elbow right towards your heel. You should be really engaged, you should be burning like crazy. 15 seconds. Stay after it, stay after it. Eight seconds, we're switching our sides. You guys saw me hit the other side, so I'm just gonna flip this time. Two, one, and good. Dance hits. Good. Keep it up, guys. Twenty seconds left. Ten. Five seconds, we're going to our dips. Two, one, and go. Get to your dips, let's get them moving. I can go up this little chair here, get real creative now. Okay, that's a thousand times better. Good, nice hard, sharp punches. Relax down, fire back up. Slow down, fire right back up. Chase that burn down, get it going. Shoulders are staying pulled back, don't see a scrooge in forwards like this. If it feels like that's what you're doing, sit. Take a little rest, reset, and go back into it. A minute's a long time for everything here, guys, so do what you can. Do what you can. Take a break as you have to. 25 seconds left. Squat down a little more, you have a little more weight to pull forwards. The more you stand up, the easier it's going to be. Almost there. And when you guys are ready, let's switch those hands up. Take sips as you need to, take rest as you need to. This is our last round coming up though, guys, so keep that in mind. We're going to go right for it. Let's take her down. Fly your tummies. Up and hold. Reset, up hold. Or like I said, if you want to just live there and constantly pull into it, don't be shy. Jump guys, good job. That's halfway. Ten seconds left. Three, two, and we're going that side plank. Jump in last time. Prop it up. Remember, elbow pulls in, make it tough. For those of you guys who haven't hit a side plank like this and this is new, my favorite way to do it, man. This is the only way I teach it. I never stack my feet up. Top foot's over, put a fist width apart. You really pull the hips forwards and up. It's gonna really hit that oblique. Pull that elbow, make it tough. Woo, 10 seconds. Again, I'm gonna be a little bit rude. I'll probably just spin you guys to my backside, sorry. In three, two, 
One, and flip around. Let's go. Twenty seconds. Ten. Five seconds. We're going into our last dip. Two, one, and we're going there. Hand set, shoulder set, and let's go. Take a little rest, a little recovery. We got our last little finisher block coming up. Very good. Very, very, very good job so far today, team. Good, nice little bit of recovery here. Catch our breath. Oh. You guys move well for that one. I'm not sure it was quite as hard as the first block, but. Still has some bite to it. That was good, very good. Try to straighten you guys out here a little bit. All right, team. So, what we got coming up next? So, we got three exercises here. We're not gonna hit four. We just got three exercises here. We're still gonna work through for a minute. Plank taps. So, what I'm looking for here, if you guys need a pillow or something to cushion your arms, I don't want you guys getting like carpet burn or anything like that, okay, on your, on your, uh, your forearms. So, we're planking it out, extending out, reaching, pulling back. Extend out, reach, pull back. Now. If you have to, you can go modify, drop the knees down too, okay? So we're going for a minute. Do your best to work through the full minute, okay? So we're now plank position, stand, touch, and right back. The key, don't your hips twist, okay? We're not dancing with our hips. We wanna keep our, hip, our hips as square as we can to the ground, so we extend out, we're really gonna hit those internal obliques. Okay, that's just gonna make it challenging. So we got a minute of that bad boy. As soon as we're done, we're gonna flip on over. This is where it's gonna get a little sucky. Be a little Russian twist action. So Russian twist, so we're on, sitting on our bums, okay? So if we keep our feet planted and twist, nothing wrong with that, that's our basic Russian twist. Next progression, Feet come up, 90 degree angle in that sitting tuck position, or of course we can go half boat, right? Get the legs nice and straight, and then we can work from side to side from there. Okay, that's the hardest progression of the, of the three. Okay, once we hit that, our last one, guys, this is gonna be just, this is gonna suck. We got a split jump. Okay, so what a split jump is, lunge jump, maybe you guys have heard it called that. We're going into our lunge position. Okay, so I'll show you guys from the ceiling here, or from the, the side, excuse me, I'll look at the ceiling. So, lunge position, so we're dropping our back knee. As I come up, I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna switch in the air, and I'm gonna alternate my legs. Okay, so the deeper I go and the higher I jump, the more challenging it's gonna be. A minute is a godforsaken amount of time for a split jump. Okay, I know that, but I have a strategy. So, we're down, we're up, soft landing, up, and switch, right? If that gets a little too tough, step up, switch back, right? Almost like a little reverse lunge, that'll still work. Okay, so skillet, make sure it works for you. Okay guys, we do have three rounds here. 
So it's gonna be a, a, a good bite to it, but like I said, I got something that uh, it's gonna help us out here. All right, so when you guys are ready, we're gonna go into that plank position, and it's just basically, like I said, we're just doing plank uh, taps. We're just extending straight out, touch, pull right back. All right, guys, hope you guys are starting to recover. Let's start to get ourselves set, start to get ourselves ready. We'll assume that plank position. A bit of an angle so you guys can see me here. All right, going in three, two, one, plank it out, let's go. Out and touch. So if you gotta widen your stance, widen your stance, your, your hips don't twist. Take your time with it, you're not rushing. This is our last block of the day, I promise, guys. Just over halfway. 25 seconds to go. Ten seconds. Good. Okay, into a Russian twist. So balance your bum. Go the progression that fits you best. Tiny exhales, twist it side to side. Oh, there's the burn. I knew this last block was gonna be a doozy. Like I said, I got some for us here. Don't psych yourselves out. You can do this. Halfway. Four, three, two, one, and up. We're going to that lunge position. Split jumps. Let's go. Up and switch it. Up and switch it. Right, soft landing. Drive your arms up. Give yourself a little momentum. This will be a burner. Good job, guys. Now, like I said, I got something that's going to make it some special for this last block. I knew everybody would be psyching themselves out like how the hell are we going to do three rounds of this? Don't worry. We got a minute on our first round. We're going 45 seconds on the second round. We got 30 seconds on the last round. 20 seconds left here, guys. But what I'm going to challenge you is if you can, still try to maintain the same intensity, right? Or pick the intensity up if you can. We got less time, so we're going to put more work in. Six seconds. Woo! Heart's gonna be racing, but let's go. Take it down, we're plank it. 45 seconds. And taps, let's go. Heart rate will come down, it will come down. Great job, guys, we're already halfway. It's gonna suck while we're in it. It's gonna feel real good, we're done. 15. Five, three, two, one, and when you're ready, flip on over. Get that Russian twist going right away. All right, come on. Yo guys, we're there. We finish this round. We got one more round in 30 seconds, it's gonna fly. Cool, 30 seconds to go. Come on, guys, come on. 20 to go. Ten seconds. Three, two, 
One, and split jumps, let's go. I know your legs are burning. I know they're burning, you gotta go, gotta go. Just get it moving. Guys, we're in it, let's go. This round, we got one more round, 30 seconds, we're out of here, that's it. Done for that. Come on. 20 seconds left. 15. Seven. Five. Three. Two. One. It's gonna suck. Go, go, go. You got 30 seconds to make it work. This is it for the day. Come on guys, 15 seconds. Three, two, one, and Russian twist time. Come on, get those reps and chase those reps down. 30 second block. Quick, you got 15 seconds. We hit those split jumps. We're going max depth, max height. Bring it home. Seven, six, two, one, and let's go. Come on, guys. 30 seconds for the win. 30 seconds, we're done. Seven, five, four, three, two, one. Time. Walk around. Let your heart rate come down. Stay moving. Get that step. Let your heart rate come down naturally. Oh, guys, really good job. Really, really good job. Proper finisher. Proper finisher. Guys, great job. Killed it. That's a proper lift. It's a very proper workout. Hope you guys are feeling good. You're not feeling too gassed or too dead. Um, another one in the books. That was, a, that was a tough one, but a good one. So don't be shy, guys. I'm gonna post up to YouTube, so you can always check out our YouTube channel. If you guys are watching from YouTube, make sure you like, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. You guys on the, on the, the live, same thing. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys wanna see. Maybe try something different. You want some different ideas or things. I'm always open to different uh, workouts. I'm, I'm always happy to hear the feedback that you guys are giving. So please make sure, uh, you know, you, you, you do leave some uh, some comments or things you like, maybe things you don't like. It's not gonna hurt my feelings. All right, guys, so we're Wednesday today, so tomorrow we got Meredith going live at 9.15, and she's got a hit class, body weight hit. That'll go for a half hour, and of course she's 10 to 11, uh, and she's going Zumba. So we got a pretty rock solid lineup of uh, classes tomorrow, and of course I'll see you guys all Friday morning, 9 a.m., same time, same channel, and uh, we get another nice one in. But guys, as per usual, stay healthy, stay safe, stay inside, and guys, keep being better than yesterday. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you guys all soon. Great job.